So, uh, Peter, what's the significance of these comments? Well, this is a pretty unusual comment by the CEO of ASML. Uh, ASML is not perhaps a global name, but it is one of the most important makers of chip making equipment. So they sell to chip companies that then have to produce. And Wenink is saying that the Biden administration's efforts to stop China from developing its own uh, domestic chip industry could end up backfiring, essentially, that they are going to work even harder to develop the kind of equipment that, that they need to make chips over the long term, and that is going to be uh, a negative for uh, the companies like ASML and the others that make chip-making equipment, but also for the Western chip industry more broadly. So in terms of uh, efforts, U.S. efforts to block China from getting advanced semiconductors, I think there's also a question here about how China might react. Uh, just as an aside, I was speaking to a Japan uh, chairman emeritus of a company tech-related that thinks it could push them more aggressively to try to grab Taiwan so they get TSMC. Yeah, they're, I think, looming over many of these discussions is the future of Taiwan. Where we are right now is the Biden administration unveiled its uh, chip restrictions on China in October, and they're now in negotiations with Japan and the Netherlands over whether those two countries will join uh, that effort to essentially blockade chip-making equipment from moving into China. Uh, we have, Bloomberg News has reported that they are close to an alliance. That's important because those three countries are really home to the five most important companies that make chip making equipment. And to your point about Taiwan, it's a you know it's a longer term question uh, about what is going to happen to uh, Taiwan and uh, particularly TSMC, which is the most important uh, chip company on the planet at the moment. Uh, Peter, is ASML's warning likely to change the minds of politicians who are involved? That's a good question. Uh, it does not seem like it's going to have any effect on the the politics of the situation. It does look like the U.S. has been uh, quite successful in lining up support from its allies, particularly Japan and the Netherlands. The other uh, important um, regions, as you mentioned, are Taiwan and South Korea in particular. It looks like they are moving ahead with an agreement of some sort. The key thing is going to be keeping an eye on the details of those agreements. Exactly what will the Netherlands or Japan agree to as they agree to some sort of restrictions on uh, sending uh, shipmaking equipment and other uh, key technologies to China? The, the devil is going to be in the details there.